Hey, what's up, you two? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. Are you tired of living paycheck to paycheck, struggling to save any money at all? Well, study has shown that 69% of adult Americans do not even have $1,000 in their savings account. So are you ready to make a change and start building your savings? If so, then this is the video for you. Today, I'm gonna show you how to save $10,000 in just one year. That's right, with a little bit of dedication and some smart financial planning, it's completely possible to save a significant amount of money in a short amount of time. So if you're ready to start taking control of your finances, and start to build out your savings, stick around and I'll show you how it's done. I'll be sharing tips and strategies on how to budget efficiently, cut expenses, and make smart financial decisions that will help you reach your savings goal. So sit back, relax, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button, and get ready to learn how to start saving $10,000 in just one year. But enough talking, let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. Welcome back dreamers. So you're asking yourself, how do you go from nothing to $10,000 in just one year? Well, let me tell you guys something right now. Even though a lot of people are gonna say $10,000 is not a lot of money, First of all, 69% of Americans don't even have $1,000 in their savings accounts. So you would already have 10 times as much as the average American. But with that being said, $10,000 is not life-changing money. You could do some life-changing activities with $10,000. You could start a business, you could pay off your loans, you could pay off debt. Um, you could buy a car or put a down payment on a house, but $10,000 is not life-changing money. But the habits to save $10,000 in just one year is life-changing these habits that will follow you throughout your career are life-changing and will make you saving your second ten thousand dollars even easier and you will save your second ten thousand dollars even faster because the habits that i'm going to teach you guys today is life-changing the money might not be life-changing but the habits that i'm teaching you guys today if you're able to stick to it is life changing so first of all it all starts off with your mindset so you want to have a great mindset you want to set a goal you want to be disciplined and also be motivated so the first thing that you guys need to do is go ahead and write down your goal science has shown that if you write something down you're more likely to remember it and you're more likely to achieve it and once again you want to be very disciplined so you want to write down your goal that you're going to save ten thousand dollars in a year so to in order to save ten thousand dollars that is around eight hundred and thirty four dollars a month or $27 and 40 cents a day. So you wanna write that down somewhere and be disciplined enough to stick to it. Now, the reason I'm saying a year, there are some strategies out there that say, hey, you can save $10,000 in three months, you can save $10,000 in six months, but to save money that quick on your first attempt is not reasonable at all. It takes a significant amount of money to do that and you're not gonna break any habits. Um, it shows that in order to break bad habits and to build new habits, you need to anywhere from 60 to 90 days to build new habits. That's why when people start working out at the beginning of the year, the gym is packed out in January. But those that stick throughout the first 60, those that stick throughout the first 90 days of working out at the beginning of the year, usually last the entire year. So uh, if you're saving money in just two months, yeah, you're gonna spend that $10,000 real fast because you made it so fast. And you did not break any bad habits to save that $10,000. But if you plan out strategically and follow these steps over the and, and break your bad habits and build good new habits over the following year, Year, then those habits will last throughout the 60, 90, 180 day throughout the entire year and follow you throughout your lifetime to where you'll be able to achieve your goal. So even if it takes you a year, a year is not a long time, guys. Remember, that's that's just um, $27.40 a day in order to reach $10,000 in your savings by the end of the year. Okay, so now that you have written down your goal and you know exactly how much money you need to make every single day or every single month, the next thing you need to do is open a high interest saving account, making anywhere between one to 2% a year. Anything above that might be a little bit too dangerous. You need to check, hey, this company is saying they give me 5% interest in a year. Well, you may you might need to do a little bit more research and see how they're able to get you 5% interest in a year, but usually the safe high interest um, savings account will give you anywhere between one to 2% in a year. There are plenty out there. You guys could do your own research and find out which one, but you could have your paycheck set up to where you deposit around $840 directly into your high interest savings account to where you're not even worried about it. You're not even touching it every single month for the next 12 months, around $840 is going to your high interest savings account. So now you're making more money 
while your money is sitting in your savings account. So when it comes out to the end of the year, you might have a little bit over $10,000 inside your savings account. So that'll put you a little bit even more ahead of the curve and get to your $10,000 even quicker. All right, so step number three, if you're a little bit more risky, you can always invest your money inside of the stock market. Now, I highly recommend that you do not, do not pick individual stocks. Remember, you're trying to save money. I would personally pick ETFs like SPY and VOO. These two ETFs track the top 500 companies in America and they keep them inside the portfolio, which tracks the stock market. Historically speaking, over the last 30 years, the stock market has gone up eight to 10% per year over the last 30 years. Now, this last year has been a little different. There's been a pullback ever since the pandemic. But historically speaking, the stock market usually goes up around eight to 10 percent every single year. So that is a much higher gain than the one to two percent for the high interest savings account. But it is a little bit more risky. But like I said, you are looking to save money. So do not pick individual stocks. A lot of people that go out and pick individual stocks do not outperform the stock market. So if you just want to track the stock market, the ticker symbol is SPY and ticker symbol VOO. Now, apps that I recommend using to invest inside the stock market is Webull. I'm going to leave a link to them down in the description. If you sign up with them, you can deposit just one penny and receive up to 12 free stocks valued up to around $20,000. That can help you jumpstart your savings journey on your way to $10,000. Once again, I'm gonna leave that link down in the description. Coming in at number four is that if you do not make enough money, you might need to start a side hustle in order to save around $10,000 a year. Even if your side hustle bring in $100 a week, or $400 a month that can help you out significantly on reaching your savings goal. A couple of my side hustles that I love doing that can make me around $100 a week. You could do Uber Eats one time a week, you will make around $100. You could sell and flip items on eBay or garage sales. One thing that I used to do was fix broken iPhones. I taught myself how to fix iPhones. I would sell one iPhone a week to make $100. And another side hustle that I used to do when I was first saving my first $10,000 was YouTube, which used to make me around $250 dollars a month so you want to find something that you enjoy doing you could wash cars you could cut grass you, you could paint the address driveway numbers on people driveways there's a million things that you could do if as long as you're good at it you can make around a hundred dollars a week on your side hustle so, so that's something that i highly recommend doing no matter how much you're trying to save is starting a side hustle and coming in at number five is cutting costs you want to cut your spending you want to cut your budget on how much you spend every single month uh, you want to see exactly where where your money is going and how much you're spending it on so that you could cut back on it on things that's not really that important to help you save even more money in the future. So six things that you could cut out that could get you to around $27 and 40 cents a day is number one, streaming services. If you have Netflix, Hulu and HBO Max, all those is around $15. If you just cut two of those out and keep one and then rotate throughout each one every other month so you can watch all of your shows that would save you around $30 a month or $1 a day number two is going out to eat if you go out to eat two or three times a month spending $100 every time you go out go out to eat one less time that would save you $100 per month or $10 a day Number three is clothes, shoes. You do not have to buy Nike Air Jordans every single time you buy a new pair of shoes. Those $150, $160 per pair of um, Jordan shoes. If you need Jordans to be fly, then maybe you're not fly because you could buy you a nice pair of New Balances for around $60, $65. That would save you another $80 to $100 per pair of shoes that you buy. Or, or any other type of clothes that you guys are buying. You could cut your budget or buy other name brands that are just as fly at a cheaper price. And you could save around $5 a day per month just from watching your budget on how much you spend on clothes. Number four was a big one for me, and that is Red Bull. If you buy Red Bull every single day, that is probably not healthy for you. You could cut out on that for an entire year. Or if you drink coffee every day and you stop at Starbucks, then you could just start to brew your own coffee at home. Yes, we are adults. Uh, you probably can't function without your coffee. So you could start to brew your own coffee at home and that could save you anywhere around from three to four dollars every single day just from making your own coffee at home and from not buying Red Bull. Number five is side hustles. Like I said, if you could find a way to make $5 a day from your side hustles around $100 a week, you will be 
well off and that can help you in significantly on your um, savings journey. So if you can find a way to make five dollars a day from your side hustles, that would be helpful. And coming in at number six is brand name products. Switching to generic or store brand products can save you a significant amount of money on groceries and other household items. So hey, all of your batteries don't have to be Energizer. All of your socks don't have to be Nike. Um, if you shop at HEB, their store-bought brands is just as good as the brand name. If you shop at Kroger's, their store-bought brands is just as good uh, as the brand name. So if you could just find one or two items that you could cut out uh, per month that would save you just $2.40 a day, that would be very helpful and beneficial. So with all of those six combined, that is $27.40 per day just from following those budget rules. Yeah, so guys, following those budget rules for an entire year will, will give you a savings account at around $10,000. Remember, the first $10,000 is going to be the hardest to save. It's not life changing, but these habits that I showed you guys today are life changing and your second $10,000 is going to come even faster and easier. If you guys have any other strategies that you've been using to save money, drop those down in the comment section. I can't wait to check those out. Also, don't forget to pick up your free stocks with Weeble and Moomoo. Those are down in the description. Um, it's literally free money, guys. Do not miss out on that opportunity. And if you made it to the end of this video, like a real one, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. That really helps out this channel more than you can even imagine. But other than that, guys, I can't wait to see you save $10,000 in this upcoming year. I can't wait to check back in with you guys at the end of the year. But other than that, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show. And I'm out. Peace.